Dear investors, the automotive industry is changing and I recently listened a presentation about Volkswagen strategy and about Stellantis uh, software day. In today's video I want to focus on, uh, on the investment in battery uh, technology based on uh, Volkswagen strategy. I believe it is a very interesting changes in the automotive market and soon everything will be electric and battery will be needed in all cars. So you can see the strategy from uh, Volkswagen, uh, reduction of variance toward one group uh, mechatronic platform, the so-called SSP. So the SSP will be the new platform, so this is a scalable system uh, platform. So in platform development, the car makers can save a lot of money because uh, developing a platform uh, costs enormous uh, money. So as you can see uh, today, uh, there is MQB, MSB and MLB and later on only two platform and, and uh, the future, the vision is to have only one platform and from that platform uh, every uh, SUVs, um, uh, sport cars and all the cars will come out from uh, Volkswagen. This simplification is needed to save enormous money and to simplify the technology. And you see the revenues, so the ICE, the internal combustion engine, the today market and, and 2025 and 30. So it's a little bit shrinking, but not uh, dramatically. But the EV market revenues are changing drastically. So uh, by 2030, it will be the same as uh, internal combustion market. But I would risk it will be even bigger. And what is also a big change, the, the car makers will be not only car makers, they will be software companies. And as you can see, the revenue from the pure software will increase. But in a today's video, I will focus only the EV market and related battery technology. So you can see the architecture of, uh, of Volkswagen or any architecture. So in the middle, there is a huge battery uh, package and uh, depending on the car, whether it's two wheel drive or four wheel drive, uh, if it's only two wheel drive, the, the motor is only on the back uh, or the front. Uh, and uh, if, if four wheel drive in, in both sides, there will be a motor. From that chart, you can see how the market uh, are shared uh, between different player. Definitely. Uh, the best supplier today is the contemporary uh, Amperex or a so-called carton. The market share is, is very nice, it's more than 30%. The second one is LG Energy Solution, third is Panasonic and BYD and some other Samsung uh, SDI, SK Innovation, Cobb uh, and, uh, and also other smaller uh, players. In, in the field, but definitely the leading player is CART, the contemporary Amperex. And it seems from the next slide, there are a lot of Chinese or Asian uh, players. Basically in the top 10, there is no European or American uh, player today. Of course, there are developments uh, from Europe uh, as well, like uh, Northwood or uh, Quantum Squeeze but not yet in a serial uh, production level as these Asian uh, players. So you can see also Volkswagen has a lot of cooperation like uh, Northvolt, uh, this is a Swedish company, they cooperate uh, in, in battery uh, development and also invested, it's not in the slide, but uh, in, invested in the American Silicon Valley uh, quantum scrape uh, company. So the current supplier of uh, Volkswagen is LG Chem, uh, Samsung uh, SK Innovation for a European market and Cartel for China and, and Europe. And SK, uh, SK Innovation also will uh, is supply battery for uh, US market. And in the meantime also Volkswagen uh, searching for new partnerships 
And this is the one company is the Gortian high tech uh, company, which will develop an industrial battery cell production in Germany, actually inside Gitter. Volkswagen extend, extending partnership with Chinese battery um, maker to develop and industrialize the first generation of the unified cell for the voluminous segment in Germany. Further international potential to be explored, so they invested 1.1 uh, billion and with that uh, they own 26% uh, of Gautian high tech uh, technology. So Volkswagen is thus the first global automaker to invest directly in China's battery supplier. I think it's very important to invest in China because the trend is showing the leader uh, in battery technology will be uh, uh, China. Actually, it's already China because contemporary Amperex and, uh, and uh, BYD, this is a two major companies who are leading this field, but of course also there are the Korean players in the field, but no US or European player. So the field in automotive uh, EV, it will change and move toward Asia. You can see Contemporary Ampex uh, share price almost doubled or more than doubled. Uh, this is the biggest company pays a tiny dividend also BYD with tiny uh, dividend and uh, the share price uh, increased enormously in the last five years. Gautian high tech also increased uh, tremendously uh, the, the share price. Uh, as I believe sometimes this company also uh, uh, plays uh, dividend. The, the Korean player SK Innovation, it's, it's pretty steady uh, price. Uh, Samsung SDI, small dividend, uh, doubled, good company, HKM also very nice company with dividend and also enormous share price increase. Panasonic, it's not too much movement in this uh, company, very nice dividend, 2.41 uh, percentage dividend and it's well diversified uh, company. So I believe this will be not so much fluctuation in the share price in the future. And as you see, I made a small uh, summary. So the biggest uh, market capitalization is contemporary Amperex. And I tried to value the, co uh, and the companies based on price uh, per sales, because some companies had no positive earnings. So I guess this is a good, good uh, indication about the share price. Yeah, it's basically the 16 price per sales for Contemporex Amperex. And this is understandable because this is the best uh, company in the field and this is the market uh, leader. So 20% uh, gross in operation camp, revenue gross only 10%. Uh, BYD, it's the second largest uh, based on uh, market uh, capitalization. This is 4.38, uh, the price per sale, so it's, it's cheaper, much cheaper than contemporary Amperex and the revenue growth is 20%. Uh, uh, percent. Also Warren Buffett uh, invested in this company. So we have the Gautian high tech, the Volkswagen investment, the market cap is only 11 uh, uh, billion. So the price per sales is nine. So it's priced higher than BYD and the revenue growth is also 31%, which is pretty nice. So what is interesting, uh, Nikkei rich lithium in cell with the energy density of uh, 302 watt hours per kilogram that makes it the most energy dense cells currently available in the market. So might be this company interesting. So SK Innovation, Samsung SD, LG, LG uh, I didn't uh, analyze these companies because I cannot trade uh, with my broker in, in Korea. So it's not allowed to me. And also I cannot trade contemporary Amperex. In the past, I wanted to invest this company, but it was not possible and it's still not possible to invest directly in China for a European person and also not, for, not possible for an American. I, I guess so. I have an investment in BYD, so I, I gained a lot uh, 
on the share price in BYD and I plan to keep this investment. I might consider Gurtion for further investment in battery technology because I believe China will lead uh, this technology area and there is a huge tailwind in this area. Thank you very much for uh, listening my presentation and wish you a great day.